Hello Scorpios. This is your mid-month reading for the 15th through the 30th. Let's see what energy we have going on for you guys for the second half of the month. Scorpio. Scorpio. The Knight of Swords. Hmm. If you notice, I have some Romance Angels cards under um, your energy, what's going on around you, rather. And I'll turn those over at the end and see what other messages we get for you guys. I've already shuffled and pulled those, so they're there. So the Knight of Swords energy. Um, this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Somebody that has something to say and is in a hurry to say it. Very anxious energy here. This could be you. This could be uh, the person that is significant to you guys here. And of course, it's like pointed right towards the past. So um, wanting to discuss something that happened in the past. Uh, being angry about something that happened in the past even. Okay, all of these cards flipped over. Here we go. We have the Five of Pentacles, um, feeling distraught, Taurus energy, alone, put out, um, not having shelter. Then we have the Empress here. I feel like for some of you guys, this Empress is you. This person is sitting from afar and looking at you looking pretty and, and looking like you have it all together and going on here. Um, the Three of Cups energy, no, the Five of Cups energy. Huh, but I don't feel like you do. I feel like because we have two fives here now, and it's on either side of you. Huh, you know, I feel like this person you may not have spoken to this person, and it seems like you, you've just gone on with your life. But I don't see that you guys have just gone on with your life because it, what it looks like is that maybe you guys, um, you know, you tried to work things out with this person and things didn't turn out well. Or you just are having regrets about the way things happen, um, the things that were said, maybe some actions, some things that you did. Uh, maybe you put this person out, they put you out, um, however this goes for you, but things are not as they seem. And then we have the Four of Swords here. I think you're getting over this situation is what it is. And you're really just striving to, um, you know, be a better person. Libra energy. But they feel like, you know, you could give a shit. And I don't see that at all. At all. What's crossing? Scorpios. The Emperor, Aries, Aries, Taurus energy here. This could definitely be somebody that is very um, uh, stubborn. And um, Taurus is a fixed sign. Aries can be stubborn too, but not like Taurus. Um, Aries has to basically go through some shit and... Um, once they're done, they're done. Though that's the thing about Aries. So could be an Aries, could be a Taurus energy. But I feel like uh, this person does not take a whole lot of action. I feel like they are quick to say some shit that will hurt your feelings. And um, and I think that's you know you you may have regrets surrounding that. Like this person held you back. Um, they probably you know they possibly mentally abused you guys here okay let's see what is the underlying issue here for Scorpios two of wands this is feeling stuck this is feeling stuck here hmm Somebody's doing all the work and the other person's just like sitting there. Um, yeah. 
deciding what you need to do and going ahead and doing it so you can progress and so you can get what you deserve this is also Aries energy here with this two of wands what's going on in the recent past for oh Scorpio what's going on in the recent past for okay king of chalices spun around upside down I feel like this is um somebody that's angry here they're not in their element king of cups I feel like upright a lot of times you know this could be somebody that also has a drinking problem but for the most part I feel like this person is um they're kind they're loving they they are um emotionally aware emotionally mature but in the reverse how it spun out I feel like this is somebody that's angry. They lose their cool. They drink to excess. And probably when they drink to excess, they come home and they take it out on you. You know, there's something I feel like they're doing in excess. But, um, you know, it, it's just not good. And um, I feel like some of you guys are wanting to tell this person that, you know, you've had enough. Or tell them how they hurt you. And um, I think what's challenging you or what's crossing you is for you to, uh, you know, be in control of yourselves and, and possibly not do anything. Because I feel like sometimes with this person, even if it's a negative reaction, they get a kick out of it. You know, um, it, it feels like this person just likes control. And whatever reaction you give them, if it's not nothing at all makes them feel like they're in control so i think is is for you to have control and and not go towards them and not initiate contact with them let them come to you is what i'm getting here okay let them come to you crowning thoughts for scorpio the nine of cups nine of chalice is here you just want to be happy you just want to be happy. You want to enjoy time with your friends. You want to just do things that make you happy. Bottom line. Piscean energy there. It's coming in for Scorpio. Loving yourself. Ace of Cups. Healing. And I think this is what you're looking for. Healing. Some of you are really wanting to, um, you know, get back together with this person. I think you think about them a lot. Um... I feel like this is somebody that is very stubborn though. I do think that this person is, if you hold on, um, and, and if you feel like you need to reach out to them, I'm not saying don't reach out to them because this is not going to you know, resonate for all of you, of course. If you feel like you need to, if this story is vice versa and you guys feel like, you know, there's something that you need to make amends for, you know, by all means, do what you feel like you um, need to do. But um, I feel like for those of you who really feel like this person, you know, they, they took you for granted or did you wrong, then if you allow enough time, I feel like this person's coming back your way. Okay. They're going to have way more to offer you and um, it's, it's going to change them up the more you stand your ground. <clears throat> How is Scorpio viewing this situation? The sun. You've been enlightened. Maybe you've been enlightened with this reading. But um, there's something in you that, that that's driving you towards your own happy. Okay? And not trying to conform or make sure that somebody else is happy. Leo energy. You're looking out for yourself. <clears throat> What's the influence here for Scorpios? The Nine of Pentacles. You gaining your confidence. You gaining your, your financial stability. Sitting pretty, looking pretty, doing your own freaking thing here. Virgo energy there. Hopes or fears for Scorpio. This person's coming back in just as soon as they see you don't give a shit. And I saw that with those four cards that flipped over there. Um, they really feel like you guys have it going on. The more you, you know, stand your ground and stay away. Yeah. 
strength, that you'll have enough strength to do it. Your hope is that you guys will have enough strength to stand your ground and establish your boundaries and stand up for what it is that you believe and what you deserve here. Again, Leo energy. Fight that urge to like reach out and give them a piece of your mind because mm -mm, they already know what they did. Trust and believe, okay? What is the outcome here for Scorpios? Ace of Pentacles. Need I say more? This is the beginning of something very um, lucrative for you. This could be money as well for some of you. But this is a beginning that is, is leading to uh, the Ten of Pentacles. Very committed, stable, um, respectable connection and relationship here, okay? Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So that is what I have. So let's go ahead and flip over the Romeo's Angels card. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. That sums up your reading to a T, guys. That sums up your reading to a T. Fits perfectly. It's just an added message. Yeah, you may be separated right now. Go out and have some fun while you're separated, okay? Do not dwell on them because, again, once you take your energy away, here they come running. All right, guys. So that's your reading for the remainder of November, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.